With the tourist season in full swing, Croatian taxi drivers have decided to hold protests against the Uber web-based taxi service, which they want to be banned. In Dubrovnik, Split and Zagreb, taxi drivers have partially blocked access to international airports. The most disruption was caused in Dubrovnik, where taxis partially blocked the only road to the international airport. Traffic is very congested on most major roads heading in the direction of the Adriatic coast. The A1 motorway between Zagreb and Kalavas is very congested and the Croatian Automobile Club is advising motorists not to use these roads at all between 4 a.m. in the morning and 1 p.m. if they can avoid it. Three firefighting Canadair aircraft have succeeded in saving properties on the island of Khvar in the area between the villages of Svrce and Verban that were threatened by a wildfire which broke out late yesterday afternoon. Carried by the wind, the fire was spreading through thick pine forests on inaccessible terrain, and so air support was brought in. 50 firefighters in 10 fire engines were also fighting the fire all night. Payment of Agricor's debts to smaller suppliers has begun. 2,100 family-run farms and other small businesses will receive a total of 132 million kuna. Meanwhile, the government-appointed crisis management has decided to shut down the first of the food consortium's companies, Velpro BIH, a food wholesaler in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Ante Ramjak has explained that the company was making huge losses and that some of the 161-strong workforce will be laid off while the others will be employed in other of Agricor's companies. The investigative journalist Drago Hedl has published a recording of his telephone conversation with HDZ MP Franjo Lucic, in which the senior HDZ member offers Hedl a bribe if he agrees not to investigate the circumstances around the bankruptcy of his private business. Subsequently, Franjo Lucic has resigned from all his functions within the HDZ, including his position as president of the HDZ's branch in Pozhiga, Slavonia County. He has also issued a statement saying that he reached this decision because he didn't want to be a burden on his party, although continuing to claim that the charges against him are unfounded. Sport and the Croatian men's water polo team has reached the final of the World Championships. Last night in Budapest, Croatia defeated Serbia 12-11 and now they will face Hungary in Saturday's final. And in football, three Croatian teams played their first leg matches in the third round of qualification for UEFA's Europa League last night. Osijek defeated PSV Eindhoven 1-0, Hajduk drew 0-0 against Brøndby in Denmark, while Dinamo defeated the Norwegian side Odd at home for a score of 2-1. This afternoon's forecast calls for mainly sunny weather. There'll be occasional moderate cloud cover in places inland, especially in mountainous areas and in the Istrian interior, where rain showers are likely in the afternoon. There'll be a light to moderate westerly and southwesterly wind on most of the coast, with a southerly and southeasterly wind on the northern coast. Highest daily temperatures will be between 27 and 32 degrees Celsius. It'll be sunny in most inland regions on Saturday. By the end of the day, and especially on Sunday, the weather will again become unstable. There'll be rain in places during Sunday morning, and there'll be rain showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon. The beginning of next week will be more stable and sunnier. Winds will be light and temperatures will rise. In places, it will be very hot. On the coast, the next few days will be sunny and hot. On Saturday night and during Sunday, the weather will be unstable and isolated storms are possible on the northern and part of the central Adriatic. On Saturday morning, there will be a light northeasterly wind which will turn to a westerly and southwesterly. On Sunday, there will be directionless sea breezes while there will be a moderate northwesterly wind in places on Monday. Thank <laughs> you.